Hello everybody. We have been learning from our science experiments that seeds need sunlight to grow. We've also seen that without a little bit of help, most seeds fall right under the parent tree. If they fall under the parent tree, they're falling in a shady spot, which does not get lots of sun. Therefore, seeds need a way to disperse or leave or get away from their parents. Today's lesson, we are going to see the different ways that seeds get away from their parents, which we call seed dispersal. If we want to make a hypothesis on how a certain seed gets to a sunny place, we need to look at some of the attributes or characteristics of the seed. Some of the things we might ask are, what color is the seed? Is it a camouflage color or is it a color that stands out? We might ask how heavy the seed is. If it's very heavy, is it more likely to roll or is it more likely to fly? If it's very light, is it more likely to roll or fly? We might ask ourselves, what is the shape? Is it round or is it flat? Which one might be better for rolling? Which one might be better for carrying or being blown by the wind? We might ask ourselves, is it smooth or is it sticky? Sticky seeds might be more likely to be carried by an animal. Smooth seeds might be more likely to roll or fly. So when making a hypothesis, we'll ask ourselves some questions. What color is the seed? How big is the seed? How small is the seed? How heavy or light is the seed? Is the seed round or flat? Is the seed smooth or spiky? By looking at the different attributes of the seed, we can make some hypotheses how the seed will get to the sun. Pause the video now and read your instructions. Go to the different stations and observe seeds and their coverings. Please take only one seed from each covering so there's enough for everybody. Remove the seed from its covering and then observe the covering and the seed next to each other. Observe the color, shape, size, weight, and texture of the covering. It's the covering that's going to help the seed get to the sun. Talk with a partner. Make a hypothesis on how you think this seed gets to the sun. Make sure your hypothesis has evidence based on the shape, size, color, and texture of the seed covering. After you've made your hypothesis, photograph your seed and covering, and then for the caption, use your hypothesis as the caption. And make sure the caption includes your evidence including the shape, color, size, shape, weight, and texture. 